are contractors handling projects in the proposed Gombe State University of Science and Technology. Kumo have pledged to complete all ongoing construction works before August. This commitment comes after the state governor, Ibrahim Dankwambo, read out the riot acts to them during an inspection tour at the university. TV Sydney's correspondent there, Larry Adeyemi, was there. The National Universities Commission gave approval for the takeoff of Gombe State University of Science and Technology, Kumo, in October 2017. The institution is scheduled to start academic work by October 2018. Gombe State Governor Ibrahim Dankwambo is determined to ensure that the commencement date does not fail. After inspecting various ongoing projects at the institution, Dankwambo met with the contractors who pledged to deliver on schedule. We are very ready to finish off our campus at this project, sir. We believe in him, and that is why we were committed. And uh, we, we want to be part of history, so that uh, by the time this university takes off, it will be for all of us. Delighted by the pace of work, Governor Dankwambo and his Commissioner for Education also gave a timeline for the recruitment of staff for the institution. The certification that was awarded to this school by NUC comes into effect very soon. We are hoping that by the beginning of this uh, session, this institution will commence fully as a university of science and technology. And all hands will be on deck to ensure that. The next thing will be the appointment of principal officers, most likely in June. Then from there, we will do the recruitment process of new staff and then the admission. As you know, as you know the academic session will commence around October, November. So we hope that by October, November, we will have the first set of students in various programs. The new university is built to start with 13 core science and technology programs. This, the state government is hoping, will provide the much needed skills that would accelerate the state's growth and development. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.